Hello once again. Uh, I would uh, like to finish the topic of pulmonary embolism with the help of this video. We now know what is pulmonary embolism, what is the history like in case of pulmonary embolism, what are the risk factors, what are signs and symptoms, what are imaging techniques which include chest x-ray, CT, pulmonary angiography, ventilation and perfusion scan and very often ultrasound of legs to investigate or confirm DVT. We know what is S1, Q3 and uh, T3 pattern is on ECG and what it may mean. Uh, we have discussed uh, arterial blood gases, an important test, but not uh, all tests have been discussed in, uh, in, in this uh, series. We would like to discuss treatment once we have uh, confirmed the presence of pulmonary embolism. Critically ill patient can have a shortness of breath low level of oxygen and low blood pressure, hypocapnia which is a low level of carbon dioxide in blood can be presenting feature because of hyperventilation. So these can be important things uh, when uh, we are treating a patient with pulmonary embolism but uh, you have to look at a bigger picture so these are the important points only not the, the complete picture. So oxygen uh, is given as a first step to deal with the uh, low level of oxygen if the saturation is going down. Anticoagulation means uh, we try to uh, stop uh, blood clots from getting bigger. Thrombolysis, we try to break down the uh, thrombus, blood clot and IV fluids or dopamine in case of low blood pressure. So we'll discuss each of these things separately and quickly. Oxygen helps uh, improve patient's condition. Oxygen is given to help prevent hypoxemia, which is low level of oxygen in blood. Anticoagulation. Heparin is uh, anticoagulation uh, means anticoagulant is a drug that prevents blood from clotting. It only stops formation of new blood clots or stops old clots becoming bigger. It does not dissolve clots that are already there. So heparin, uh, warfarin, uh, all are anticoagulant. Warfarin is given orally. Heparin is uh, given at, uh, uh, IV. So they, they are both started together usually because it takes some time to affect. Uh, a new product is uh, being used nowadays which is known, known as molecular, low molecular heparin uh, which can be given subcutaneously. IV fluids and dopamine. Dopamine is a drug that raises blood pressure. Thrombolysis. Lysis or breaking down of blood clot. Streptokinase or tissue plasmogen activator are examples of uh, thrombolytic agents. They help uh, breaking up and, and they dissolve blood clots. The lecture is prepared for www.academyofprofessionals.com and these are the references. Thank you very much.